Hi, this is Amy Fong with Everest Group's Sourcing and Vendor Management Programs. Happy to be back to share a little bit more about our category strategy templates and the various components that we use to help buyers and category managers uh, develop a strategy around complex services. And I'm here with Sakshi, one of my colleagues from our global sourcing team. And she's gonna share a little more on the make versus buy modeling that we have in here. Hey everyone. Uh, so Amy's gonna bring up our make versus buy assessment framework. And uh, let me share some, you know, thoughts about how we, you know, how organizations can really use this framework, where does the data come from and what decision-making can this really drive? So if an organization is reassessing or assessing its sourcing strategy, you know, for a particular services category, then what they really need is a holistic make versus buy framework. Um, in the services space, you have the option to outsource it, you have the option to use an in-house model, an onshore shared service, or, you know, an offshore shared service center uh, to, to procure some of these services. Uh, the Everest Group's make versus buy framework has been contextualized to various services sourcing spend categories, and, you know, most of these uh, category templates are available to our members on our, on our portal. And each category template contains uh, the make versus buy sourcing decision framework contextualized uh, to that spend category. What this assessment framework does is uh, it assesses both models, the in-house model and the outsource model across um, five major you know, criteria. Number one, the nature of work, which means how large is the work? Are there demand variations? Is, does it require sensitive data to be handled? And so on and so forth. Uh, some strategic considerations. Uh, so do you have a relationship with the provider in this space? Does it align well with your organization strategy? Are you trying to transform the service line? Of course, cost considerations. Uh, you know, in, we, we talked about TCO model, you know, in another video, and you, you'll see that uh, on the social media as well. Uh, how cost comparison is important across the two models, uh, capability considerations, are you trying to drive digital you know, adoption, does this require some kind of domain competence, uh, and then finally risk, um, you know, uh, does this entail any kind of risk um, if, you, if you go with either of the models. So this is our overall framework uh, to guide organizations in the make versus buy decision making. Uh, in terms of how organizations can really use it, uh, this decision has to be contextualized, um, you know, uh, with contextualized to organizations capabilities, business environment and cost and risk appetite. You can look at the industry adoption trends and say, hey, in this vertical, typically contact center is outsourced. But, but then you have to uh, additionally contextualize it to your business environment and your organizational you know, goals. And that is where this, this, this framework will come in handy. Thanks, Sakshi. Um, there's some really great guidance in the questions and the criteria to look at here. And uh, as, as we've mentioned, you know, this make versus buy analysis is so important when you're looking at complex service categories. Uh, and it really needs to be unique to each area. The criteria are, are a bit different in, in uh, every category strategy template that we put out. So um, I think this is a very helpful tool to those who are maybe less familiar with outsourcing and, and also to contextualizing it again to their, their business environment. Thanks so much, Sakshi, for being here today. Uh, it's always interesting to hear your perspectives. Thanks, Amy.